Hi there, this is the Meccano motor. It's rather nice in as much as it's got many different gear ratios available to it. To get them what we have to do is to turn this ring so that this piece can slide out. We can then turn it to the next, slide that one in and hopefully we have a faster speed. On this one, three to one, so it's going quite fast. If I change the speed again, move this out, come round, move this round, come on to the 60 to one. Sixty to one, then it goes a lot slower. The problem is at sixty to one, if I hold it, don't know if you can hear that, but it clicks. I'd like to think that that was actually a clutch mechanism built into the motor to protect the gears, but I suspect not. If we want to take it apart then, what do we have to do? Well, the first thing then, take the ring off. Now, this is a bit worrying because the only way I can see to do it is to lift it over each of these pegs that change the speed. And I would think there's a good chance it's going to break in half. These things, no, I've got away with it. These are very old, so I'm surprised I've got away with that. Then what we've got to do is there are six, we can see the indents here, six indents and at the bottom of each of those, then it's been heat sealed on little pegs. Drill those partly out with a 2.5 millimeter drill. And then with any luck, if we're very careful, we can take the top off and there we've got the top off got too many gears but never mind so each of these gears looks to be the same each one is the same sort of gear and that then just goes on these shafts and it doesn't seem to matter which is which they all seem to be identical the slide piece then just moves up and down to move these gear pieces. So they then go on to the output shaft. So if I can, oh, I can't turn the output shaft because they're jamming because they're not on shifts. But they all then sort of locate onto this output shaft here. The output shaft has a sort of metal bearing at this end and if we look at the other end it has a metal bearing so each of these there's a spline coming out of the top and each of these then can fit onto the, a spline and then it can rotate from the particular gear that, that comes out the shaft that comes out and that then drives this it should only have one gear down at a time hence the ring so that only one gear can be put onto the spline at a time. So that's that. If we take those off then. We have another piece here, uh, which needs, I assume, to come out somehow. How can I get that out? Well, I think I'm going to need a screwdriver of some sort. See if I can find one have one here, not the best, but let's see. Uh, if I lever this up, we can see there's a little mark here. This is where it lines up so that we know we've got it back together again properly when we put it back together. So we can try and pull this out. Not too sure how this is fastened in there it seems to have come this part here at the front with the selectors on it also has a little dimple there very small difficult to see but that then lines this up as well
So the whole thing lines up together. So can we get this piece out? Yep, that then has come out. It has, as I said, a metal bearing at the front and these lines of different length which I assume are something to do with the different gears on the inside. So that then holds each of the gear in place. If we come back here, what we've got in the centre is a pinion on the motor. That pinion then drives the 3 to 1 gear, which I assume is this one here. That then drives this gear, which drives this one, this one then drives this one. This one has its gear, small gear on the other side to make it more compact and that drives the gear down at the bottom there and that in turn drives this gear here which then drives the 60 to 1 here. And if we look at the 60 to 1 we can see that it has indeed failed and it's lost a tooth. Could I replace the tooth and rebuild it? I don't know if it would be worthwhile. Because if it was locked again, it would break the tooth off again, I assume, or break off another tooth. So maybe not worth repairing it. Just use it up to 32 to 1 rather than the 60 to 1. So yeah, rather a nice little gizmo, all slots together, but has the disadvantage that when it's running, all the gears are turning, so it doesn't matter what speed you've got, you're turning all the gears at the same time. And the other thing is, on here, that these gears are permanently in contact with this output gear here so therefore they're all going to be running at the same time so you've got a lot of gears going but yeah it's a nice little gizmo quite like it but uh, not too sure what to do with it useful for experiments for example for getting different sorts of speeds out of it Right then, so I think that's it. It's supposed to be a sort of 3 to 12 volt motor. But very nice. Trouble of course is that gear with its broken tooth there. And the fact that when this turns, if it's a 60 to 1 reduction, then it reduces the speed by 60 but it increases the torque by 60 and therefore this gear can't actually take it when it's stalled. Very nice, it is Meccano, genuine Meccano, uh, written on it and it has the base that will fasten on to Meccano. This must be one of the earlier versions because I think the later versions actually had sockets on it rather than the wire just coming out. Could take the motor apart, but I don't think it's worthwhile. It does look like it's one of their own motors that they've built themselves, held together by these clips, but I'm not interested in that. It's just a motor. So yeah, nice little investigation. Uh, as I say, quite interesting. So it's bye now. Bye.